Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Faith and today's practice is going to be a stretch and flow yoga class. So this is going to be a vinyasa yoga flow. As we move and flow, we're going to incorporate moments of stillness, getting into some deeper stretches and connecting with the breath. I will be offering more advanced variations throughout this practice. We're gonna get into some heart openers, working on binds. So if those are all things that you're working towards or want to incorporate into your practice, this is gonna be the perfect class for you. I won't be using any props for this practice, but always feel free to have some nearby. Other than that, all you'll need is your yoga mat and yourself. So when you're ready to get started, go ahead, grab your mat, and let's begin. All right, my friends, we're gonna to begin today standing at the top of the mat in Tadasana. So make your way to the top of the mat. Feet hip width distance apart. Take a soft bend in the knees as you stand up nice and tall. And just take a moment to find your center and your grounding. You can shift your weight forward and back, side to side. And then come to find stillness. Place both of your hands on top of your heart and close the eyes. And let's take a deep breath in through the nose and a long and gentle exhale out. Continuing to breathe deeply in and out through your nose. Connecting to your body, to your breath. Noticing your heart beating in your chest. Feeling the ground underneath your feet. Take one more deep breath in. Open the mouth, sigh the breath out. Gently blink the eyes open and release your arms down by your side. We're gonna begin with our sun salutations. So as you inhale, reach the arms up and overhead and exhale, dive it forward, folding over the legs. As you inhale, find a halfway lift, place your hands to your shins, find a flat back. And exhale, palm the mat, step back to plank and hold it here. Shoulders in line with the wrists, engage through your core. If you wanna add a little bit of movement, you can shift forward and back. Just working into the wrists, into the shoulders. And then on your next inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, take your first chaturanga lower halfway. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, lift the hips, downward facing dog. Taking three deep breaths here. Grounding down through your hands and your feet. You can close your eyes if that feels good. On your next inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, step to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale to rise, reach the arms up. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. Let's do that again. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale, shift your weight forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, rise, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. 
One more time. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, step back to plank, moving right into chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, rise, reach the arms up. Exhale, hands to heart. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Beautiful. Go ahead and bend your knees. As you inhale, sweep the arms up for Utkatasana chair pose. Knees and feet together, grounding down through your heels. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, sink into the hips. Take another inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank, take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward, coming into warrior one. Ground the back heel down, placing your left foot at a 45 degree angle. As you inhale, sweep the arms up for warrior one and stay for your exhale. Hips are square to the top of the mat. Keep a deep bend in that right knee. Interlace your fingers behind your back. As you inhale, extend through the elbows, open the heart. And exhale, humble warrior. Dive the chest forward, reaching your hands up towards the sky. So think about bringing your right shoulder as close to your right knee as possible. Relax the crown of your head down. Keep bending in to the right knee. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, sweep the arms back up for warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands, lift your left heel off of the mat. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick the right leg up. Exhale, bend your right knee open and stack the hips. Option to stay here or take your wild thing. Stepping the right foot behind you, open through the heart as you reach the right arm back. Keep lifting the hips up high, breathing here. And then plant the right hand back down, draw the right knee to your left elbow, and then step your right foot to the outside of your mat. Coming into Fallen Triangle, spin your left heel over to the right and reach the left arm up. As you inhale, reach your left arm towards the top of the mat. Exhale, cactus the left arm and bend your left knee. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale, cactus the arm, bend the knee. One more time, inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, plant the left hand down, pull the right knee into the chest. From here, come into your pigeon pose. Place the right knee behind your right wrist and then sink the hips down. Untuck the back toes. Think about pressing your left hip down into the mat to square out the hips. Come onto the fingertips to lift the chest. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. From here, we're going to come into a mermaid. So go ahead and bend your left knee. Reach your left hand back to grab the foot. Now, some of you may just want to stay here and practice pulling that heel in towards your glutes. If you want to take it one step further, you can hook your left elbow around your left foot and then interlace your fingers in front of you. Third version is to lift your right elbow up towards the sky, coming into our full mermaid. So find your variation, come back to your breath. And 
then slowly release that. Turn to face the top of your mat. Take a deep breath in as you open up through the heart. And then exhale, fold over the right leg, bringing your forehead all the way down. So feeling a deep stretch in the outside of the right hip. You can close your eyes here. And just reconnect to that internal awareness. Coming back to the breath. And then gently lift your chest back up, shift your weight into your right hip and turn to face the left side of your mat. So we're coming into a half straddle. Your left leg is extended out to the side, left toes are pointed up towards the sky. On your next inhale, reach the right arm up and exhale, side bend to the left, reaching your right fingers for your left toes. Rolling that right shoulder open, looking up towards the sky, feeling a deep stretch in the right side body. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Next inhale, gently lift yourself back up. Bend into the left knee and cross your left leg over your right, preparing for our spinal twist. Place your right elbow to the outside of your left leg. Inhale, reach the left arm up. And exhale, twist, placing the left hand behind you. So twisting from the upper back, relax the shoulders down. If a bind is within your practice, go ahead and reach your right hand through the little hole in your legs. Left hand will come behind you and then clasp your fingers to find your bind. Keep lifting up through the chest as you twist your torso to the left. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Go ahead and release the bind, gently untwist. Extend your left leg out to the side. Place the sole of your right foot down, hugging your right knee in towards the chest. We're coming into Skandasana, so bring your hands through heart center. Start to lean your weight forward as you lift the hips up. So feeling a nice stretch in that left inner thigh. On your next inhale, come all the way up to stand, reach the arms up. Exhale, warrior two, bend the left knee, extend the arms to the side. So take a moment to adjust, keep the core engaged, making sure you can see your left big toe. As you inhale, straighten the left leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, warrior two, bend the left knee. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale, warrior two. One more time, inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, place the left hand down, reach the right arm up for extended side angle. If this is a little bit too much for you, you can place your left forearm on top of the left thigh, bringing your right bicep to the ear. If you wanna take it one step further, you can take a bind. Again, you're gonna reach your right hand behind your back. Left hand will come through the legs and then clasp your fingers behind your back. Once you have your bind, think about stacking the shoulders, rolling that right shoulder open as you look up towards the sky. So really feeling that strength in the left leg, stretching out the right side body. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Release the bind if you have it. Bring your gaze down towards the floor, plant the right hand down and lift your right heel. As you inhale, reach your left arm up into a twist. And exhale, sink into the hips, stretching out right hip flexor. Take another inhale. 
Exhale, plant the left hand down, find your pyramid pose, straightening through the left leg as you fold forward. So pull the left hip back to square out the hips, keeping that back heel lifted. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Rebend into the left knee, plant the hands, step back to plank, take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let's take it to the other side. Inhale, left leg lifts for three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot forward, coming into warrior one. Roll the back heel down, placing your right foot at a 45 degree angle. As you inhale, sweep the arms up for warrior one and stay for your exhale. Hips are square to the top of the mat. Keep bending into that left knee. And then interlace your fingers behind your back. As you inhale, extend through the elbows, open the heart. Exhale, humble warrior, dive the chest forward, reaching the hands up towards the sky. Bringing that left shoulder as close to your left knee as possible. Relax the crown of your head down, keep bending in to the left knee. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Next inhale, sweep the arms up for warrior one. Exhale, plant the hands, lift your right heel. Inhale, three-legged dog, kick the left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, stack the hips. Option to stay here or take your wild thing, stepping the left foot behind you, open through the heart, reach the left arm back. Lift the hips, lift the heart, breathe. And then plant the left hand back down, draw your left knee to your right elbow, and then step your left foot to the outside of your mat. Spin your right heel over to the left, reaching the right arm up for our fallen triangle. As you inhale, reach the right arm forward. As you exhale, cactus the right arm, bend the right knee. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale, cactus the arm, bend the knee. One more time, inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, exhale, plant the right hand down, pull the left knee in towards the chest, finding our pigeon pose, stepping the left knee behind the left wrist and sinking the hips down. Untuck the back toes, pressing that right hip down. Come onto the fingertips to lift the heart, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Moving into our mermaid. So first bend your right knee, reaching your right hand back to grab the foot. Again, you can just stay here and practice pulling that heel closer towards your glutes. Next version is to hook your right elbow around your right foot and then interlace the fingers. Third version is to lift that left elbow up towards the sky, opening through the heart, coming into our full mermaid. So just find what variation works best for you. You're getting the same amazing benefits no matter what. Breathing here. Beautiful, go ahead and release that. Turn to face the back of your mat. Take a deep breath in and exhale, fold forward, releasing your forehead all the way down. So again, just taking a moment for stillness, feeling a deep stretch in the outside of the left hip. You can close your eyes and just breathe here. And 
and gently lift your chest back up. Shift your weight into your left hip and then turn to face the right side of your mat. Right leg is extended out wide, right toes face up towards the sky. As you inhale, reach the left arm up and exhale, side bend to the right, reaching your left fingers for your right toes. So feeling a deep stretch in the left side body. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Inhale, gently lift yourself back up and then bend into the right knee, cross your right leg over your left for our seated spinal twist. Place your left elbow to the outside of your right leg. Inhale, reach the right arm up. And exhale, twist, placing the right hand behind you. Twisting from the upper back, looking over that right shoulder. Option to take a bind here by bringing your left hand through the little hole in your legs. Right arm will come behind you and then just clasp your fingers to find your bind. Keep lifting up through the chest as you twist your torso to the right, rolling that right shoulder open. And then release the bind if you have it. Gently untwist. Extend your right leg out to the side, preparing for Skandasana. So pull the left knee in towards the chest. Bring your hands through heart center. And then just lean your weight forward as you lift the hips off of the mat. Feeling that nice stretch in the right inner thigh. As you inhale, come all the way up to stand. Reach the arms up. And exhale, warrior two, bend the right knee, arms extend out to the side. So again, just take a moment to adjust, tucking the tailbone under, relaxing the shoulders down, looking over the right shoulder. On your next inhale, straighten the right leg, reach the arms up. Exhale, warrior two, bend the right knee. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, warrior two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, place the right hand down. Reach the left arm up for extended side angle. Again, you can bring that right forearm on top of the right thigh and bring the left bicep to the ear. If you want a little bit more, you can take your bind. Placing the left hand behind you, right hand will come through the legs and then clasp the fingers behind your back. Once you're there, roll that left shoulder open, look up towards the sky, feeling that engagement in the right leg. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Release the bind if you have it. Bring your gaze down towards the floor. Place the left hand down and lift your left heel. As you inhale, reach the right arm up into your twist. And exhale, sink into the hips. Feel that stretch in the left hip flexor. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, plant the right hand down, find your pyramid pose, straightening through the right leg as you fold forward. Pull the right hip back to square out the hips, keeping that back heel lifted. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Rebend into the right knee, plant the hands, step back to plank, take your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. On your next inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, top of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, chair pose, bend your knees, reach the arms up. And exhale, come all the way up to stand. Bring your hands to heart center. Beautiful work. Take a breath here. Find that connection again. And 
And then on your next inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend your knees and come all the way to a seat. Scoot the hips back a little bit. As you inhale, reach the arms forward, rounding through the spine. And then exhale, lower yourself down one vertebra at a time. Coming to lie on our backs. Now from here, extend both of your legs and flex your feet. Bring your arms alongside your body with the palms face down. Now you have the option to stay here and just feel that stretch in the backs of the legs. If you wanna take a plow pose, I'll guide you through it right now. So what you're gonna do is use your core to lift your hips off of the mat and then bring your feet all the way up and overhead, placing your toes on the floor. So keeping your legs extended, making sure you're not constricting your throat. So creating a lot of space for your neck here. Just hold it here and breathe. Noticing all of those stretching sensations in your back, in your legs. If you'd like, you can interlace your fingers to deepen the stretch. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. One more breath here. And then release the hands, place the palms of your hands down. Take another inhale. And then exhale, slowly lower yourself down one vertebra at a time. So really using the strength of your core here. And then once your low back is grounded, inhale, flex your feet. And then exhale, lower the legs for five, four, three, two, and one. Coming into our final resting pose, our Shavasana. So extending the legs out wide, allow your feet to fall open. Rest your arms alongside your body with the palms face up. And then close your eyes. Let's take one last deep breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, sigh the breath out. Returning your breath to a natural rhythm. And simply let go of your body allowing your body to become heavy and relaxed. Just gifting yourself these next few moments for stillness before you transition into the rest of your day. And you're more than welcome to rest here for as long as you wish. If you're ready to come out, gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. And then take a big breath in, reaching the arms up and overhead. 
Exhale, bend your knees, roll over to one side. And in your own time, pressing yourself up to a comfortable seat. Just taking one last moment for stillness. Noticing how you feel. And then bring the palms together in Anjali Mudra in front of your heart. Taking this opportunity to bow down towards your own heart. Expressing gratitude for yourself for your practice, and for anything else that comes up for you in this moment. Thank you so much for joining me in this practice. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I do post new videos here weekly, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future classes. If you have any recommendations or suggestions for future classes, please leave them down below in the comments and I'd love to make that happen for you. Otherwise, I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. May you stay well and always continue to shine.